All right, so the first thing you got to do is kind of work out some universal pose for the character, something that you're going to be interested in for a very long time as you develop like some fake musculature for this this guy. And I found that, you know, especially with new students to this, they'll, they'll make this guy like uberly straight. Like you'll go in here and uh, rotate these things out. So everything's like, absolutely straight and don't do that have a more relaxed pose um, but it's very easy to develop a character if everything is relaxed in its relaxed form let's say you know the biceps and uh, what we know is you know any of these muscles in the chest if they're at a relaxed form um, certainly easier than having them all tense and the reason for that is if we go to move them around well it's going to look tense but if it's if we develop them in tense and then try to move them around it's hard to get relaxed so so something that you're going to have to look at for a while again using alt and command can move these around and we can add to this there's no there's no uh, limits to what we can't do the only limit is I would say you know have a relaxed pose And another thing you should do is, you know, when I'm when I'm drawing or just kind of moving these things around, keep in mind you're going to have to develop a character yourself. So at the end, if you think that, you know, you're going to develop a character just based upon what I'm doing right now, um, yours is going to have to be different. So it's something I always require. I, you know, I, I, I'm a firm believer in doing your own stuff using my stuff as like um, a reference to to what you need to do but really what my technique is as a teacher is saying you know don't do the monkey do monkey see thing that um, that always falls apart it's it's like drawing from a book you know let's say you're drawing from a comic book well it's already drawn <laughs> uh, what is there to learn from that um, draw from real life draw from uh, something like a like a photograph even would be better than that so I'm going to be developing a character and I'm going to at a certain point I'm going to stop and say okay well now you work out your pose you work out what this is going to look like in its raw form and then come back and then we'll work on the next stage Again, try to keep as few as these spheres as possible because it, it twists. But I wanted to see if I can develop anything cool right in that area. And I think what this character needs is a tail.
And if it's going to be a tail based upon balance, it's going to have to be able to touch the floor in some manner. Again, this is that pose that you're going to be looking at for a great deal of time. So, you know, you got to make this very interesting to yourself. This is, as you're sculpting, you know, you don't want to make this a very boring pose or you won't get very much out of it yourself. And I love the five finger thing or the four finger thing, but really I think um, based upon the character, I'm going to be taking and lopping off a finger here. And now you can see, you know, when, once you have that base mesh down, you know, how easy is it just to take and develop an alien or a monster out of that? And then I'm going to start putting this toe a little bit back. Now, it's really easy to uh, sit here and maybe take a floor. Okay, so if you have a floor to it, you can work out, you know, how, how what am I missing here? Can he reach the floor? Okay, so that new floor feature is really nice in the fact that, you know, you can start putting things in perspective of, here he is on the floor, uh, here he is kind of being able to touch the floor, and it gives you a good reference to, you know, the spacing between here and here. Certainly you don't have to move your model, but now you have some way of kind of saying things are straight. There we go. All right, in the next video, we look at more.